Bismillah. Explanation to the beautiful and perfect names of Allah. A large number of the beautiful names of Allah are repeated manifold in the Quran as demanded by the occasion, and it is necess- necessary to explain their meanings in a succinct and comprehensive way. So we say, Rabb, the Lord. So, so from like realize that this topic sometimes it falls into the science of raqaiq, heart softeners. Sometimes they say if you want to study heart softeners, you study the names and attributes of Allah. And sometimes it falls into the category of aqaid, aqaid, which is the topic of creed. So we're going to see that it has both sides to it. We're going to benefit. Continue, Bismillah. Ar-Rabb. Ar-Rabb, the Lord and Cherisher. This name has been repeatedly mentioned in many verses. Ar-Rabb is the one who nurtures and sustains all of his servants through regulation through regulating and governing their affairs and granting them all types of favors and blessings. More specifically, he is the one who nurtures and sustains his sincere friends by correcting and purifying their hearts, souls, and manners. This is why their supplications are frequently made with this noble name because they seek this specific nurturing. Naam. So he says, هُوَ الْمُرَبِّ جَمِيعَ عِبَادِهِ بِالتَّدْبِيرُ وَأَصْنَافِ النِّعَمِ وخص من هذا تربيته لأصفيائه بإصلاح قلوبهم وأرواحهم وأخلاقهم ولهذا كثر, كثر دعاؤهم له بهذا الاسم الجليل لأنهم يطلبون منه هذه التربية الخاصة So this name, الرب the, the Lord, the Master who has no equal in his sovereignty and predominance and highness the one who provides and sustains and owns and cherishes and organizes all that which is in existence, nurtures and sustains all his servants through regulating their affairs and granting all types of favors and blessings. He gives all things the power to grow, to move, to change. To him belongs the creation and commandment. This name is built upon For him belongs the commandment and the creation. It is a name that is mentioned over 500 times in the Qur'an, brothers. It is a name to know there's a general sense to it and a specific sense. That's the general sense everyone is included. And that specific sense of the one that is there aiding and providing and at your assistance through your moments of hardship. It is to know he is the nurturer to prepare you to reach to Jannah to Firdaus. For this reason, he has decreed for you what is found in the earth, for you to reach that path of seeking his pleasure. And this word, Ar-Rabb, it has four main meanings. Allah's names at times have, perhaps one name can consist of multiple meanings. And that's how great it is. The first it has the meaning of al-Malik, the owner. The second meaning, a sayyid the master. The third meaning, al-Murabbi, the nurturer, the one who cultivates and provides from one stage to another for you to grow and to attain. And the fourth meaning, al-Mutasarrif, the one who controls the affairs and allow it to process in a particular method. All of these meanings are thabita lillah, are firm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we're going to see that inshallah, because this name increases us in iman bi rububiyyah, believing in the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to know that he deserves oneness in all of those affairs. So we're going to see that once a person is pleased with Allah as his Lord, there then he will taste the sweetness of Iman. iman man billahi rabba. The Prophet ﷺ says, he shall taste the sweetness of Iman, the one who is pleased with Allah as his Lord. So we're going to move on, inshallah, to the next name.